Play different. Greetings, photo Mac addicts, and welcome to another Hyperstack Sack. This time we're going to be looking at a selection of utilities and creativity tools, uh, starting with Louis Tunes. Here's the instructions here, which I'm going to scroll through very fast, so you can't read them, but if you want to pause them and check it out, feel free. And here is the about screen. Uh, but please don't call Ralph at home. That's uh, very rude. Okay, so let's get started. Let's add a page, show tools, and let's start a very simple animation. Uh, let's get the paintbrush out. I'm very good at drawing straight lines. Now, uh, I want to copy to background, but I need to change back to the finger because you just draw over the uh, interface. So, back to that and copy to background. And, oh, hang on. Uh, let's speed up the emulation a little bit for this one, shall we? Let's go to uh, eight times speed. And let's add another page. And so the, uh, the last frame has been copied here so we can trace over it. Uh, you could also just, I've done a uh, copy and pasted it. If you brought back the, this thing up here, the menu bar is the word I'm trying to think of. Uh, but I wanted to use the tools that it gives us here. Uh, so let's get rid of that. Let's trace over that. Uh, and clear the background. There we go. Let's add another line. Yeah. Copy the background. Add page. So you might already be seeing some limitations here. Mm. So this animation tool is quite simple and easy to use, but it's also quite a uh, limited. Uh, HyperCard, of course, was quite capable of doing animations. In fact, it's one of the uh, main things it can do. Uh, but for younger people, I could see it being a bit too complex for them. So I could see this tool being good for younger folk, you know, like children and stuff. So I could see this being a sort of a warm up to the real deal. Uh, and then uh, in that way, it's pretty cool. But as a tool in itself, it's, I think it's a bit too limited and a bit too uh, messy. Hang on, let me just finish off this animation. For one thing, let's clear the background here. I keep forgetting to add a new page and I just go to the next one, which takes me to the about screen. And I've got to cycle back here and you can still see uh, me drawing over the uh, interface here. So I could definitely see how this tool could be useful, uh, but really I think people would be better off just using the actual animation tools of HyperCard instead of using this interface over interface. Again, unless you're a child who's still trying to learn how computers work in general. Uh, so let's run this animation. There we go. I am an artist. So as you can see, it one the, another one of the problems is that it goes to the start screen here every time, and you can still see my drawing over the interface on the first frame there. But yeah, so that is Louis Tunes, a simple animation tool that's maybe a little bit too simple, but I'm sure it had its fans back in the day. And this is Golf Analyst. Uh, my favorite part of the stack is actually that opening there. So here's a little bit about the stack itself. Uh, basically it does what it says on the tin. You enter in details about your performance on the different courses and it will tell you your average, uh, how you're doing and if you're improving or getting worse. And let's just add a new course here. Uh, Pebble Beach is a course I've heard of. Um, I don't know, six. Just enter your name, Andrew. Here we go, so you just enter in the par for each one, uh, your score, your putting score, the date. So yes, basically just a little stack to see how you're doing at golf.
Dang it. And now we are looking at Storybook from the same creator of Louis Tunes, and it's a very similar product. Uh, basically it's an interface on top of an interface. This time instead of making animations, it's about making interactive storybooks, which Hypercard was very good at. Uh, it's telling us to click this fly, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh heavens. So here are the instructions. So like Louis Tunes, this is very simple to use, uh, but again a bit restrictive. Uh, again, like Louis Tunes, I think it's aimed towards children or people not used to using computer interfaces, uh, and you're better off learning how to use Hypercard itself. Uh, but this is a good stepping stone, I think, to that. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and go to a page beginning. Oh, this is one here, so let's add a page. Butts is the name of our new page. There we go. And let's add one more to be you. There we are. So let's go to butts. Actually, let's stay, stay on to be you, and bring the tools up. Let's draw a butt. Uh, uh, there you go. That's a very nice butt there. Clearly, this person has been working out. Uh, let's bring back the tools. Saying I'm gonna need to go back to the hand again. This is very similar to Louis Tunes. The same uh, limitations. So let's go back to to be no butts. And let's add a button. Sound effect. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, let's face it. Slam is the uh, most appropriate sound here. Let's do a uh, dissolve and link to page to be you. There we go. Now, there seems to be a bug here. Uh, let me click done. The button just disappears really quickly. I'm not sure why it does that. But you can click it as you can see there. So let's try that again. So, uh, butts. <laughs> and there's my interactive storybook. Uh, I'm not sure why the button doesn't show up. I might need to use a different version of Hypercard or it might be an emulator issue because I'm using a mini VMAC. But that is StoryMaker. Again, a very simple tool to make interactive storybooks. But again, you're better off using actual Hypercard. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention before, both this and Louis Tunes has a very big restriction in that you can't export or save these stories uh, as standalone. You have to make a copy of Louis Tunes or Storybook uh, to make sure you still have a fresh one because once you edit the stack, you can't actually erase everything and start a new story or you know bring back another one that you made earlier. So you just have to keep on making duplicates of the stacks. Uh, which is a pretty big restriction, again, which is why I think you're better off learning Hypercard itself instead of this interface on top of an interface. But once again, this would have been good for kids or people who weren't quite used to using computers yet. Uh, but that is Storybook.